Obama has a new um, energy package, and what he's decided to do is that he's going to open up offshore areas to oil drilling. So opening up large chunks of the Atlantic coastline, the eastern Gulf of Mexico, and the north coast of Alaska to oil and natural gas drilling. Genius move. Now, why is this a terrible idea? Okay. And then we'll see if it, there's a smart angle that Obama's playing here. Number one, I actually, this is not my main issue. Okay. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, I care a lot more about financial reform. I care more about health care reform. Now, if people care most about this issue, I totally get it, right? And as w I fancy myself a moderate, right? W in the end, might I have done some sort of compromise if I was a president that did offshore uh, oil drilling? I might have. Or more nuclear energy. I really might have, okay? And this is exactly the kind of thing that I knew Obama would compromise on before the disappointment set in, etc. Even during the campaign, he said he was open to nuclear energy, and he said oh, he didn't rule out offshore oil drilling either. So, I mean, this shouldn't come as a large surprise to you. So if this happened within its own context, and this was the, like one of the two or three compromises that Obama had made, I'd be trying to calm your ass down. I'd be like, no, no, come on, come on, guys. Keep it cool. Keep it cool now. Look, you can't have a politician do exactly what you want, and nobody ever uh, delivers on all their campaign promises. Right, and this one he didn't even promise that much. So, why do I think it's a terrible idea then? Because this is not the second or third compromise. This is the 128th compromise in a row. It reeks of weakness. That's how Obama enters every single debate. Like if they're playing chess, it reminds me of the old Saturday Night Live skit with Jim Belushi and the Chess Club. <laughs> like what when he'd yell at the kids at the Chess Club. You're giving away the queen. You're giving it away, right? So Obama playing chess, he's like, all right, John Boehner, Mitch McConnell, here's my queen. All right, now let's start the game. But this is the main thing they wanted. Why would you give this up at the beginning of the process? It's crazy. The environmentalists and some uh, journalists are saying baffling, shocking. Why? <laughs> Somebody wrote, what am I missing here? I'll tell you what you're missing in a second. But look, if you actually wanted this to pass and you cared about doing this right so you get your policy proposals uh, enacted into law, you save this for the final compromise. You don't do it right off the beginning. You think you can get Republican votes on this? Oh, no, come on, come on. Come on, you can, no one can be that stupid. No one, okay? Instantly, what's the Republican reaction? You all know it. <laughs> Lindsey Graham is now the most moderate of the Republicans, right? The one that they try to make deals with. Lindsey Graham was, of course, the most open to this and said, it's a good first step. <laughs> it's a first step. This is the last step. If this is the first step, Jesus, what the hell else are they going to do? Are they going to turn the whole country over to the oil companies? <laughs> okay. What did John Boehner in the House say, the Republican leader there? He's like, oh, not good enough. Of, co of course not. No, no, not nearly enough. You know how many Republican votes he'll get for giving away his queen in the beginning of this process? Not a single one. Not one. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. Why doesn't Obama know it? <laughs> right? It's crazy. All right. So why is he doing it? I mean, why give away the queen in the beginning? Because, you know, this is the tremendous disappointment with Obama, and that's why today's news is a little bit tragic. Not because of the policy implica implications so much. It's because... He's making a political calculation, and he doesn't care as much about the policy as he does about the politics. Okay, Now, how does the politics of this play out? Well, he gets to go around and tell the mainstream media, aren't I the most moderate centrist guy you ever met in your entire life? I mean, look at this. I give Republicans concession after concession they, when, they, when we're not even having a conversation or negotiation. And the mainstream media, corporate media, old media, whatever you want to call them, we go, oh, yes, absolutely, everybody, run, run the story. Obama moderate, Obama moderate. Now, does that help him? No, because meanwhile, Fox News is yelling, socialist, communist, Maoist. And that washes away his so-called moderation for a lot of people, but not all people. But that's the political calculation that he's making. He's also shoring up the conservative Democrats. He's also um, trying to raise campaign money for those Democrats as well. Keep it real, man. O the oil companies are the second largest... Uh, source of campaign cash. You think he's just going to piss them off and 
not for his own sake, but for the Democratic Party. Rahm Emanuel is whispering in his ear, oh, we got to get the campaign cash. we got to get it. we got to get it. Give the concession right away. And so, of course, he gives the concession right away. And do you think, okay, so, look, I, I've been telling you all along what I think is going to pass, what it's not going to pass. And for the health care bill, I told you all along, it's going to pass. The question is, how, what kind of a bill is it going to pass? How, how weak is it going to be or how strong? And then I told you as we went in the process that the public option wasn't going to be in it, and they were going to pass a weak bill. And that's exactly what happened. Now I'm telling you on climate change, they're not going to pass a bill at all. Okay, now what do I base that on? The House already passed a bill that was incredibly weak, right? And they sent it over to the Senate, and they said, do you think we can get you to vote on this? And the Senate said in unison, Hell no, you can't! <laughs> okay, hell no. It instantly, about two-thirds of the senators, including a huge chunk of the Democrats, were like, hell no, hell no, no way, no way. <laughs> now, since they were already at no way, and you give away the biggest concession right from the beginning of the negotiations, or no negotiations, do you think that's going to help you to get more, forget the Republicans, more conservative Democrats? No, no it's not. This is a disaster. If you care about the policy, the, the, the climate change bill, carbon thing, the cap and the trade, <laughs> good luck with that. Good luck with that. That ain't happening. I could be wrong. But if you bet against me in politics, you're going to lose nine out of ten times. <laughs> okay, so let's see what happens.